Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Day's Designs. I'm back with another Christmas holiday project for you. Today we're making a Christmas ornament bunting. It's a quick and easy project that'll have you decorating your house for Christmas in no time at all. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Etsy shop, Deb's Day's Designs. That's where you'll find the written version of this project with step-by-step -step instructions, photos, the materials list with the cutting measurements, the link back to this tutorial, and the printable ornament template. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you'll need fabric for the ornaments and for the ornament tops, you'll need cotton batting, you'll need something to hang them on like clothesline cord or jute, and you'll need the printable template. If you don't have the pattern and you'd like to pick it up, it's in my Etsy shop and I've added a link in the description below this video. First, fold your piece of fabric you're using for the ornament tops in half lengthwise with the wrong sides of the fabric facing each other. Press it to make a crease. Open it back up and fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the entire piece over and press it. Top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edges all the way around and across the fabric strip. Now cut the strip into three inch pieces with your pinking shears or your pinking blade. Now place a piece of ornament fabric with the wrong side of the fabric facing up. On top, add your layer of batting. And on top of that, place the other piece of ornament fabric with the right side of the fabric facing up. Now pin your template to the stack. Stitch all the way around the template just outside the edge of the paper without going over it. Remove the paper template and use pinking shears or your pinking blade to cut a quarter inch outside that stitching line. And repeat that same process for all of your ornaments. If you'd like to add some additional quilting or decorative stitching, this would be the time to do it. Now going back to the strips, Place one of the raw edges of the loop on the back of the ornament and place the other raw edge on the front of the ornament and stitch it to hold the loop in place. And do the same for all of your ornaments. Place a finished ornament over the cording and slide it to the midpoint of the cord. Place your next ornament along the cord one to two inches from your first. Continue to place ornaments to the left and to the right side of your first one. Then tie loops in each end of the cording for hanging. And just like that, you've made yourself a Christmas ornament bunting. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my Etsy shop, Deb's Day's Designs, for even more sewing and crafting and holiday projects. See you next time with another project.